Nothing I see means anything. This is the beginning of retraining our mind to see the world in a completely different way. This is the beginning of allowing the Holy Spirit to wash the mind free of judgments and preferences, hierarchies of thought, free of the belief that some things that we perceive are more important than other things that we perceive. This is the beginning of mind training, a very devoted practice to forgiving the world and awakening from the dream of sickness, pain, suffering, death, of awakening from fragmented perception to true perception and beyond to the reality of the Kingdom of Heaven. So, this could be practiced very lightly as you seem to move through the day, looking around the area that you perceive, out the windows, across the street, just practicing with the range that is in your immediate vicinity and near vicinity. You are beginning an amazing journey toward peace, eternal, a very tranquil, calm state of mind that is content, that looks not to the world of images to find meaning, that looks not to the world of images to find identity. And it is a very precious undertaking. It will lead you to heights of happiness. And I say that I take your hand on this journey and we walk together on this self-same road, opening to the realization that we are one self, united by our Creator, by the Spirit. So practice this today as you go forth very lightly but with an intention not to make any exceptions to this beautiful lesson that leads to freedom of mind and healing in mind, transcending all upset, all perceived conflict and difficulty. Nothing I see means anything. So gently as you move through the day, see the importance of this lesson. I have given everything I see all the meaning that it has for me. It brings the responsibility for sight back to the mind and reverses the idea that the world tells me who I am, the world tells me what to do. This crazy idea that the world dictates my state of mind because this external form of causation is completely false. There's nothing in time that makes me who I am. 
only linear time could construct an illusion that would tempt me to deny my true self as the Christ. <laughs>